In this Google My Business post tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a post on your Google Business profile, and we're going to go through a couple of best practices here. There are some things to keep in mind when you are posting on your listing. For one, you want to keep it short and sweet and to the point, right? So aim for like 100 to 300 words at most. Just grab people's attention. It should be quick and, and heavy hitting should also have a clear call to action. So you should be directing people to do something after they read it, whether it's reaching out to you or booking an appointment or whatever that is. Having a call to action that's very clear, it's very important. The image quality is also really important. I'll show you an example here in a second. But if the image is engaging, it will catch people's attention and they'll read what you've written and then hopefully take action on your call to action, right? should also try and promote any you know specials or offers that you have going on like deals or events or any important news this stuff works great for google business uh, google my business posts i was going to call it google google business profile cuz that's what they call it now but <laughs> same thing um with the SEO side of it like part of why you want to post is because it helps with your organic rankings you want to post regularly, which is the next point here. So if you're posting at least once a week, Google sees that you're active on the platform. So do people. And so your rankings, you know, you have a higher chance of outranking a competitor who's not posting on a regular basis is, you know, all other things equal. So it is important to post regularly from an SEO standpoint. That being said, you don't want to just stuff every single post with tons of keywords. That's going to look unnatural, right? You still want it to look natural, but do use your keywords in the posts. That's definitely going to help you out. And then where you can add in links to drive people through your call to action to take, uh, to, to really get in touch with you and work with you, right? That's the idea. So from a technical standpoint, all you'll do in order to post on your Google business profile is Put your uh, business name in here. So if you search your business name and you're logged into your account up here in the top right, then you should see where it says your business on Google and you'll have some different options here. From there, you can click add update. You can also, there's this update your customers section here. You can also do it from here as well. It's the same thing. If you click add update. Now it's going to ask you to put an image in here. So I'm going to start by selecting the image, which I've already created here. And this is the post that we're going to create here. So um, this is the image itself. And then we also have the description. So I'm just going to copy this portion, come back here, throw this in the description. And with the image itself, you want to use square images whenever possible. If you use a landscape image, it, I guess it will let you use landscape. You just want to make sure you size it properly, but we just find it works best to just use a square image. It tends to be, uh, it tends to show up really nice if you use a square image. So, I'm going to adjust some of the, and you can make this a little bit bigger. I'm just going to adjust this a little bit so it's easier for people to consume the content. And then I'm going to copy our phone number here. And as they called it, well, actually, it's already going to have it by default. But we need to choose a call to action. I'm going to use call now. It'll actually pull in our phone number by default. So that's basically it, right? We've got our nice photo. looks professional and clean. We've got our description. And then our final call to action here, and we'll go ahead and click post. It says your post is done. And it says it's pending and it should be published here shortly. So it might take some time, but we can, you know, come back and refresh this page and eventually we should see the post and it'll show up down here kind of at the bottom. You know, it'll just look like a tile. And they'll start to be a collection of these, assuming that you're posting once a week, which you should be, <laughs> right? Um, and 
that will kind of grab people's attention, especially if you're if you got really catchy images and you're talking about like specials and promotions. I really like the option of adding in some discounts and and different options. So if we go, oh, that's only gonna allow us to do an update as such. But if we come back here, uh, we can add an offer. So, you know, let's say it's a, you know, save 50 sale or whatever, you get 50% off for the month of December. It's a blowout sale for Christmas. So you can have a link that goes directly to where they can redeem the offer. You can set dates when it starts and ends. Really powerful tool for engaging people who are already on your listing and getting them interested in other things that you have to offer. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of Google My Business posts or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with SEO anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below. And we do provide SEO for different businesses in different industries. And you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website. And look forward to working with you.